bring them home. That's number one. Uh, there's no reason for us to be in those 135 countries uh, unless you take each one and look at it very carefully. There are a few Marines, for example, that are part of the guard force at our big embassies around the country, around the world. That makes sense. It's defense. Uh, but, but nation building in Middle East or Africa, uh, uh, selling democracy to people who can't even have the foggiest idea of what it's all about, uh, to making apologies for capitalism, which is crazy. That's why we're the most powerful country in the world, is because we understood capitalism before anybody else did. And it's the right way to go. It's the free way to go. If we're pulling people out of Iraq, they ought to come home. Many of them have been over there two, three terms, lucky to be still alive. Uh, Afghanistan is a problem that has been around for 2,000 years. There is no, quote, solution that I can think of. Uh, the country is as near to uh, non-functioning politically as anybody. And uh, I don't see that there's a plan to, to do what's necessary in Afghanistan. This Missouri thing was uh, a blatant error in judgment by somebody, uh, and it slammed people who are every bit as patriotic and as American as you and I. Uh, it, it adds nothing that I can see to defense. Uh, it just, it just uh, brands people, uh, as uh, uh, we set out in Missouri, is called uh, political profiling, which is wrong. Uh, the other part of it, getting the military involved with uh, things domestic. Uh, no, that's illegal. There's a law that's supposed to prevent that. Posse Comitatus, which was passed in 1878, when uh, the southern states got enough people into the Congress after the war to, uh, to get the federal troops out of their states, because we were essentially Garrison people in uh, in those southern states.